<laughs> what is going on, everybody? Depraved Slash here, and we are back with another music reaction. I'm Depraved. I'm Hellcat. And together we are Hella Depraved. And excited. A very. I'm, I'm sick, but I am excited. This is for excited face. This is me excited sick. I'm sorry, guys. But um, this has been out for a couple of days now. Yes. And I have been even more sick. So we were not able to do this before then. Right. But we are here now, and I'm so excited. This is the first single that they're releasing for their album that will be coming out the end of February. February 26th. To be exact, 2021. 2021. But I think they they posted that they're going to drop another couple okay. before the full release. But we even get a music video. I'm I'm very excited, guys. Very excited. Now, with that being said, we are going to react to this as if you have already seen it. Yes. If you have not seen it, what have you been doing? The link in the description below. Go watch the video, like the video, sub. Definitely. Come back. Yes. And we say that because we are a reaction breakdown channel. We are. There's going to be an asterisk here, though. Give me a minute. We're, <laughs> we're going to try to break down the lyrics. Yes. Um, there will be more pauses than what you're used to. That is still definitely going to happen. Breakdown channel. Now, I say try to break down the lyrics because... This doesn't have the lyrics at the bottom. There's not a CC button to push. Right. Um, so we're going to try to catch everything that they say. Epica is a new band to me. Um, I've absolutely loved the two things we've heard before. Right. Even if one of them was the wrong video, as so many came in and said. Oh, whatever. It was still Simone. But it was amazing, regardless. Right. Um, right. So he's not adjusted completely to them i am not completely i love epica i've been listening to epica for a very long time i still will not catch everything they say the first time through um so with that being said we're gonna slash it up and break it down ladies and gentlemen this is epica abyss with this of time abyss of time let's get it tg it already looks fantastic Yee. <laughs> yeah. See that? I don't know what any of them are Should saying. Should I pull up the, the lyrics on my phone? Probably. Um, I did hear her say with cosmic energy. That was the last thing she sang. And guys, don't get me wrong. Both of them are very clear in terms of what you think of in terms of growls and a beautiful voice. Um, clear voice. But I'm enjoying the sound. It's hard with a heavy... Um, instrumental behind it and it's amazing it sounds outstanding i just i can't understand clearly what okay. they're saying let's see what we got here let's see how wrong they can be it was up at the top i know i'm working on it okay see, all right let's back it up a little bit a little bit come on All right, I got it that time. It made so much more sense, guys. I was like, now that I'm reading along, it's... I can hear what they're saying. Right. Clearly. 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 Um, Her more so than him. Cause again, although, I just, like I said, his, his growling is very clear for, for growlers. Um, right. 
Which is honestly one of the reasons you liked Epica the first time we heard them. You were like, that was much clearer than anything I've heard. Um, her voice, though. Her voice is like, outstanding. Like, he goes from the growl, and then she just comes in clear as a bell. And it's this strong, clear... I, I don't... It, it's gorgeous. It's this crystalline voice, and it's... Plus, can we talk about that outfit? All made out of bones? Like, that's cool. Oh, see, I thought you were talking about this outfit. Hold on. <laughs> I want to talk about this outfit. Well, we haven't quite gotten to that outfit yet. <laughs> like, I'm just... I, I like the bone outfit, too. Like, like, we kind of joke about Batman's bat suit having bat nipples. Well... Her breastplate has nipples. It does. It does, guys. That is a thing. Although, I do like the headdress. I did, I did like that, because she looked kind of warrior chic in the in bones. So, fill the void in me, see life beyond the veil, replace all thoughts from the abyss with cosmic energy, ignite the flame in thee, fill out the tree of your life, we are rooted deep in the darkness, and keep growing towards the light. So, lyrically, I feel like what she's saying is... She's trying to, it sounds like she's trying to clear the unnecessary thoughts from her life. Yeah. I and the feel unnecessary like it's the words. Clear the negative. Because um, she, you know, feel the void in me. It's empty. Mm -hmm. And then see life beyond the veil because, you know, our, our lives are pretty much, we're behind a veil. Right. Like, there's so much we don't see. Right. That goes on. Replace all thoughts from the abyss with cosmic energy. Basically, again, clearing, trying to clear her thoughts. Right. Clear out the negative and fill it with, like, the stardust. And right. a lot of people refer to the cosmic energy as more Just like... please stay away from glitter. We don't need any of the no herpes of the fashion world. Right. You can never get rid of it. Um, no. But cosmic energy is, you know, it's normally the, the goddess, god energy, stardust, whatever. Um, Ignite the flame in thee, fill out the tree of your life basically saying like find what you're passionate about yeah ignite your passion ignite your passion because so many of us live life mm -hmm. nine to five come home do nothing Just nine to five dead come straight, home don't do nothing notice anything you work to amass a lot of wealth so that when you retire then you can enjoy life and, and why do you want to retire? wait until you can barely move right. to enjoy life we are rooted deep in the darkness and keep growing towards the light and again we're born into a dark world guys i don't know if you've Noticed. seen everything that yeah. goes on i mean we just watched what 72 dangerous places right and but honestly like it also roots are underground right it is dark there is no light there so it's it's a double you know and trees do grow towards light and it, we're born not really knowing anything not searching for anything and when she's talking about like the the cosmic energy and everything it definitely makes me think of that you know, she's, she's, she's searching for divinity, basically. And whether that is done through, um, I mean, it could be any approach, guys. I'm not talking about, like, a set religion. I'm just talking about she's searching for something outside of herself that is going to guide her and that is, leads her towards a, a light. Right. So, um, All right. but I like it. I like the time change because mm -hmm. they were like, dun, 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 and then it's like, dun, well, dun, and then it starts dun, falling. Dun. Yeah, it went from like a, a four four to almost a three four time change. Right, and it, it fit perfectly too. It's gorgeous. Good transition. Me too, but I'm very concerned. The guy is like stalking her with an axe. Stalking. I have not looked at the video hardly ever. Mm. Not gonna lie. 
you're following the lyrics, though. I am. That's what's most Which important fine. to me, guys. Yeah, no, I agree. But I am kind of worried. Um, so, first thing I want to touch on is the way she says abyss. Mm-hmm. The abyss. Abyss. That, that, I've never heard it pronounced like that before. We're Americans, baby. We are. Yeah. I've heard it pronounced like that before. Yeah, I'm sure you have. Yes. Guys. You lived in Europe for a while. Yes, to each their own. We're wrong. <laughs> we are. Normally. But All the time. abyss is normally how I also pronounce it. So I'm wrong. Whatever. Um, but be without your fears for a thousand years. Search for stillness deep inside. One thought that grows in the abyss of time fills up the vast space with matter and life. Free of the darkness that fetters the soul, find at the source the end of your goal. Again, just chasing your dreams. Your, your passion, but I again, I think it's more than that. I, I really, I feel like when she's talking about matter and life and the soul and so on, I, I feel like there is some source of divinity that she's looking for. You know okay. what I mean? I can understand that. So, I don't know. I, I don't even know how to express that further. Like, a higher calling. Because she is talking about your your own passion and igniting. So, like, calling. Not necessarily God. But, like, a calling. Um, but it fills up all that void in you. And it's just, like, one little thought is the seed that starts this growing. Well, and, you know, we've touched on this before in other reactions. Um, there is a saying that is, find a job you love mm -hmm. and you'll never work a day in your life. Right. Um, and honestly, whether you think of it like this or not, their band, being, being a member in that band, that is their job. Mm -hmm. That's what they do for money. But I think it's also their passion, but which it's makes their... it... Right. Beautiful. Which yeah. makes that they love what they do. So they probably never feel like they're working. Oh, well, I mean, like, that there's probably moments the, that probably they're like. Probably the grinding of tours yeah. and things like that. But it probably wears occasionally, but then they're like, God, I love my job. You know? But I, I think that's what this is touching on is really just finding that thing that fills the emptiness in you instead of, again, right. don't just be satisfied with working nine to ten hours or eight to ten hours a day just to barely get and by. And hating your job. Um, there's actually, again, a spoken word poet that I used to list, listen to. I can't remember what his name is, but he had an entire spoken word about um, working a job. And he said, what is a job? J-O-B, just over broke. Right. Which is unfortunately true. Which is true in today's day and age. Yeah. Find something that you're passionate about, even if you're barely making it. Has an Elm Street. Thank you for subscribing. Never Thank you. But find that something you're passionate you're passionate about, so that way, even if you're just barely making it, you're at least happy you're while you're at doing least it. Happy. But I I like how she started with "Be without your fears," because you need to be somewhat fearless to step outside of your comfort zone to chase what makes you happy. Right. Because a lot of times, say for creative people, they're they're like, oh, well, being a singer isn't going to pay the bills. Well, it might. It just might, but you need to actually be fearless, step outside of the box to see if it will work. And we're not necessarily saying quit whatever you're doing no. to chase these dreams. I mean, I'm still working an eight hour job, eight to 10 hour job. Depending, yeah. Now, and I come home, we make time to do this. And it's, it's a daily thing, It's but it's something we both actually, I, really I didn't like. think she was going to enjoy it near as much as she's turned out to enjoy it, <laughs> but I've enjoyed it ever since I've been doing it. Yeah, and it's it, it's enjoyable, you know? So, but I, I like how she, you know, find the source at the end of your goal, because right. that is the source of your passion, is, is when you find it, so, yeah. Ooh, I like those. I feel like she's Gorgeous filming The Hills scenery. Have Eyes. Yeah, well, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, but freaking gorgeous scenery. Can we just say? I mean, I, you I mean, would never... gorgeous there, right? You would never be caught dead there. No, it's too high. Yeah, he's afraid of heights, guys. 
Woods, yes. Up that high in the but woods? with the rocks no. all split up like that? Yeah, no. No. You couldn't pay me enough to fly a drone to look at that. <laughs> right. Okay, because we were watching something, again, the 72 Dangerous Places on Earth. It was filmed from above. And, and they had like, this dude oh, no. sitting on a cliff, and they show over the edge, and I'm like, oh, nope, nope, <laughs> nope, nope. <laughs> And then in one verse, she proves us both right. Yeah, she just summed, like, I feel like she summed up everything we were just saying. Like, Much quicker. Well, the two of them, I should say. Uh, find the spark in me. You know, again, that one seed, like I said, that will grow. Um, see life beyond the dream. So, like, actualize your dream, you know. Replace your darkest emotions with pure divinity. Ignite the flame in me. Unite with your inner light. We should free ourselves from the shadows and the bondage of the night. Again, your fears, the cloud of depression, the darkness. Um, Although, and lady, I would watch out. I think he's going to stab you. That's what I was telling you. I was actually kind of frightened. He's carrying the axe, and like there's the, you know, naked chick. Um, I mean, I'd be following her too. Me too. In the woods. I'd want to know what she's doing. Me too. If you go into the woods today. Um, but yeah. I'm I'm lyrically I'm really liking this. And they Me both too. sound they sound amazing. Although admittedly he also looks old enough to be your dad. So that's a little creepy. I think <laughs> my dad's older. It's a long song. It is. But go. Yeah. like that second headdress more this video is starting to interest me it's very interesting because i don't think it's so much that he was following her i think they're headed to the same place i i think you're right at this point i mean maybe he could have left his axe behind and then we wouldn't we wouldn't have suspected you dude we would have just known because it, it looks like there's more than just the two of them too like they're all kind of it's the source that they're all going to right um and these floating island planet things they look like upside-down cool. jellyfish. Or Cthulhu. But, I like um, jellyfish more. Cthulhu bores me. I know, but I think they're actually trees on floating. Oh. Which, okay. any of the above is super cool. And I see a moon and a sun. Okay. Two moons? I'm not sure. It'd be a moon and a sun. But still, cool, very cool. <laughs> Is that supposed to represent Father Time? Yeah, but in like a maybe a darker way? Like maybe time is the abyss? I don't know. But like I said, I love this sec uh third I guess it's her third outfit. Because she had the Bones outfit count. and then she had the Batman outfit and then she's had this one. I like this one the best. <laughs> Hold on. I love that. Learn to unlearn. That's what I... I almost just paused it, but you hit it first. Basically saying, unlearn all the things that you've learned that are holding you back. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Well, I mean, and think about it. Society teaches us a whole bunch of horrible... I'm not going to say habits, but like... Standards. Standards that we're supposed to live by or that have worked in the past for other people... 
the box, you know, the nine to five, uh, what, what you're supposed to, you know, and you need to unlearn all of that stuff so that you can be fulfilled, be yourself, be happy. Right. So, and I just, I love the way that she did it too. Like the most operatic part of it is learn to unlearn. It's great. In the beginning, there was a timeless, spaceless nothingness. And into that nothingness came a thought, purposeful, all pervading. So ended the void. So guys, this is my new favorite epic song. I've only heard we, three. I this is a, this is my new favorite, and I've heard all of their albums. Before this. this. I, especially because it's so relevant to this year, especially 2020 has sucked guys. And we all know that, but like this idea of making sure that you like purge yourself of the darkness, search for the higher light, find your passion, find what makes you happy, learn to unlearn stuff. And then here he is talking about your walls of self-protection are walls of self-imprisonment. That's what we were looking at each other for, like... If... You're holding yourself back. And honestly, this little phrase here can be applied to so much in life. Yeah. Because... Let, let's... Don't get, it, don't, don't get it twisted. So many of us do build walls in life because of experiences we go mm -hmm. through. But those same walls are keeping you from reaching out and maybe meeting the love of your life. Or chasing that job that you know you'll absolutely love to do. Or just chasing a dream right. or passion in general. Or going and seeing a beautiful far off land that you're afraid to just go out and fly to to visit. Right. Like, that is such an it, amazing just two sentence. It's really poignant. It, it, but it goes back to the learn to unlearn. Like, we learn from an early age every time we've been hurt not to do that anymore like you know you you put your hand on a hot stove you get burned you learn don't touch hot surfaces right but we do the same thing with people with experiences and it's human nature so you know you you, you get burned in a relationship you don't put yourself out there again like it's just one of those things and it it causes us to be hardened to not look for the connection or these experiences anymore. So we do have to learn to unlearn so that we're not holding ourselves back. Let's say what you say. 2020 has been one of the best years of my life. Even with the sicknesses. Yes. I agree. And crazy shit. Yes. I am your crazy shit at this point. True. <laughs> dude was crying in the video because he it was probably the first time in forever he had stepped away from his job just to I think it was the beauty. beauty yeah what whatever it was it was that touching yeah
that was an amazing ending. Yeah. I'd get a standing ovation, but... Uh, yeah, then you wouldn't be on screen. And right. I would, but I would end up dropping my phone. I like the, the ad of the strive for harmony and duality. Like, we should be striving for harmony, guys. I, in in all of our differences. I, I don't... It baffles me that we, we don't see beauty in that. So, to revise the book of life... And, and I think yeah. we don't see beauty in it because so many people are raised in a way that you're supposed to be right. It's not okay to be wrong. So they right. believe what they think is right... But refuse to see how other people think because that would mean if they agreed with it, then they were wrong to begin right. with. Um, and people are so stubborn. Well, I also think it's fear. I think it's this whole learn to unlearn. Like, you know, it's be fearless. Like, a lot of people are afraid of what they don't know. And so if the idea is something that breaks them free of that box that they have been taught, like... A lot of people are afraid of that. Right. You know, it may not be like phobia level that a lot of people associate with the word fear, but it makes them extremely uncomfortable. And again, it has that, you know, two people can be right and have differing opinions, but also it's okay to be wrong and to say, oh, shit, I'm sorry, but you're, you're actually correct. Like this, this right here is 100% wrong. I should not be doing this. But he this is song correct on that. Made me super he happy. is correct on that. Yes, um, we march on. We're counting down to singularity, so that we're you know we're all one. We're counting down to the time when we are all one. Uh, while we drown, we're moving on to master wisdom to be free. The only problem is we're counting down to singularity, but I feel like we're counting down and it gets to one, and then just one, one. Well, <laughs> one. What I, the fuck is wrong with you people? I what? think I think what? that's you know it, while we drown. I mean, honestly, guys, we are drowning as a human race because we Epic. suck. Honestly, it is about time for Thanos to come and snap a fucking finger. I am uh, I I am voting for Epica as I'm voting for world, Thanos. world rulers. Thanos. I I kind of feel like you know. We, we've got the, the good parent and the bad parent here. He'll growl at you and send you to your room. And then she'll sing you the lullaby. Yeah. yeah. I just think half of humanity needs to disappear. Well, that, that too. But, you know. <laughs> that, was, that was amazing. That was gorgeous. The video was super interesting. I love the, the outfits. And also just the thought that everyone was going to the same site, like, almost like a, um, what is it called? I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really sick. Um, a quest for the end goal. Okay. Okay. Quest is not the word I was looking for. Voyage, uh, it's, it's normally associated with... Pilgrimage? Thank you. Thank you. I knew we would get it eventually. Um, pilgrimage, and it didn't matter... <laughs> what gender they were, or what age they were. Right. They, they were all able to find the source and the beauty as long as they were willing to look. Okay. So I, I really like this, guys. I, did I can't wait for this album. This is officially my favorite epic song, at least until we hear songs about virgin sacrifices. Okay. All right. Well, we'll get to the Mayan album soon enough. Um, but out of the four songs you've heard... Three, four, three. All right. But, guys, this is one of my favorites. And I, I love said, the message of this. I've heard most of it. Uh, most of their albums loved this. So I am much more excited, even even more excited, for the album yes. in February. Yes. With that being said, guys. If you guys like the video, slash that like button, subscribe, and the bell for notifications. Comment down below. What did you think of Epica Abyss of Time? Also comment down below if there's anything else you guys want to see react to. Check the description below for all the things. Push our buttons. Come join us on our other social media platforms. Mostly Twitter if you want a quicker response. It's also a great place to drop a quest. With that being said, we love you guys. <coughs> Thank you all for watching. We cannot wait to see Excuse you brave me. people later. Bye. Night. Mm.